forgive me if my phone goes off or I just feel compelled it's all right. to, yeah. to check an app. Uh, you and everybody one. else. Me and everyone else. What does your app do and how does it help me? Yeah, so, I mean, in a phrase, our app helps give you back your time. So mm -hmm. what we do is we track how, you, how much you use your phone, which is, has two dimensions to it, how much time you spend on it, but also, importantly, how many times you pick it up in a day. Mm. We help you assess that usage, and then we actually coach you to use it less. So we help you really kind of redefine your So what does it give me instant feedback that I've picked up my phone 37 times uh, since 9 a.m., and I have spent it does. X amount of hours on it, right? There's an initial assessment period where we just see how bad it actually is, and then mm -hmm. on the basis of that, we coach you to set some limits and guidelines about how, what, is, what is in your mind healthy usage. Um, what in your mind is going to give you back some of your time so mm -hmm. that you can you can spend your life on the stuff that the stuff that matters mm -hmm. rather than the stuff that's simply is, urgent or seductive? Uh -huh. Isn't there good uses of the phone and bad uses of the phone, Tim? Abso I mean, absolutely. So does your app tell you you know how much Tyler is spending, how much time he's spending on Candy Crush versus texting with his son versus emailing his boss at work? It does. It okay. does. In fact, it gives it gives you a sense of I mean, they're really sort of two different compulsions around phone addiction that we see. One is that you just spend too much time consuming. And we see that happen on Netflix. We see that happen on social media services. And then, you know, there are lots of folks who actually aren't on these services, but still have a compulsion because they pick up their phones too much. Mm -hmm. And so we see both of those behaviors and then on the basis of that initial behavior, we coach you to, to use your phone less. And, and what we see is that it gives people their time back. Um, and what our users tell us, and we now have 7 million people who have used Moment, uh, is that their relationships are better, their time and, and their, their focus and attention is improved, and they're just happier. So does Apple have a, a function on some of its phones that effectively do the same thing? And how is yours different if they do? Yeah. So what, what Apple has done, if I were to use the diet analogy, Apple has given users a scale, but they haven't give them, given them an exercise regimen or any kind of nutritional guidelines. Um, so in my mind, their solution is, is incomplete and, and somewhat inept. Um, and what we see on the heels of Apple launching that solution is actually an uptick in, in the usage of Moment. Tim because Cook is Moment on my phone is, now, uh, inept. Yeah. He didn't like that, so he <laughs> called me. I'll put him through to yeah. you later. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, Tim, you're former Facebook, former Pinterest, so you can say whatever you want about them at this point. How much um, does the blame fall squarely in the, in the laps of a Facebook, of a Pinterest, of the social media platforms that created the ecosystem where people fritter away so much of their time. Yeah, I mean, I, look, I think it's, I think it's, a sh I think it's shared blame. I think that the folks that make the phones are somewhat to blame, and the mechanisms, the generalized mechanisms on the phone, notifications, the brightness of the screen, the size of the screen. Uh, that's certainly part, partly to blame. And then all these services, um, news services, video services, social networking services. And I think it's any service, just generally speaking, that takes your time um, from you, sort of steals your time from you, and it's, and it's at your expense. <laughs> did, right? did you know um, when you were working at Facebook and at Pinterest, or did people there know? that they were getting people addicted to these products. Was that an, was that an objective was in it, effect? It wasn't an objective. It wasn't an objective. But did I you mean, know it was we, happening? I mean, and, and were, you, were, were there internal well, conversations I, where you'd go? I haven't hey. been at Facebook for, for eight years. Okay. And so eight years ago, there were not conversations about people getting, mm -hmm. getting addicted. There were conversations about serious issues. And I do think the folks there then and now take the issues that their platform creates seriously. And I believe they're working uh, diligently to solve them. Um, and then at Pinterest, you know, the whole idea of Pinterest was actually to help people discover stuff and then yeah. get off their phones and go do it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that was part of the impetus for, for going off and pursuing this um, on my own was that I saw sort of the goodness that, that Pinterest was creating in the world. And, right. and, and quite frankly, I was personally suffering from device addiction. I was coming yeah. home from work and I had two little kids and I was finding myself in the pantry scrolling through, you yeah. know, news, uh, it, it news was, articles. It